Okay, we have retain another integral from the MIT integration mean from 2006. This was problem number 36. We have the integral of 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus sine x dx. Okay, now there is a pretty quick way to do this. What I did originally on this was just multiplied by the conjugate, multiplying by 1 minus sine x in the numerator and denominator. That's going to simplify pretty nicely. But today what I'm trying to do instead is look for a longer method. I'm going to work on this using the Weierstrass substitution. And what we're going to do for that is I'm going to make a substitution of t equals to tan over x over 2. And it's a pretty interesting move since we don't have a tangent or anything like that in this problem. We do have some trig functions, though. We've got sine x. So what I need to do is derive the formulas I can use to do this. I need to find a dx value. I need to find a value for sine x. So what I'm going to do first is take this and rearrange it. I can take arctan on both sides so that we have x over 2 equals arctan of t, but isolating the x, I can write this as x equal to 2 arctan of t. Then just taking a derivative, I want to get my dx value. So what we're going to have for this is going to become dx 2 derivative of arctan. That's just going to be 1 over t squared plus 1 dt. Okay, so that's good. We've got one value that we need. We have this to start with. Now, I really need this sine x before I can do this. Let's take this, let's take our first substitution here, and let's just draw the triangle to try to get some other values out of this. So then the angle on this is going to be x over 2. And so we can kind of create a 1 here. Tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So we can write this, we can write one side as t, and, run, and this other side as 1. But from here, we can get our third side using the Pythagorean theorem. This is going to just be square root t squared plus 1. But what this allows me to do is get some other values so we can find sine of x over t because sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So this is going to just be t over square root t squared plus 1. And then we can go ahead and get cosine as well while we're at it. So cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, that's just going to be 1 over square root t squared plus 1. And now from here, let's get a value first for cosine, even though we don't need it, we've got sine, but let's get a value for cosine anyway, just because, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not in any hurry today. We'll use this double angle formula for cosine. Cosine 2x is gonna be equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. But what I wanna do is I wanna use these half angle formulas. So what I can do is kinda of just substitute in an x over two. So if I do that, what we have here, this is gonna be x over two here, this is gonna be x over two here. And this is going to just reduce to an x on the right on the left side. Sorry. So using this, we can get our value for cosine of x. Just plugging in. First, we're going to have this cosine x over two value squared. That's going to give me one over t squared plus one. And then for the second one, squaring this, we're going to have t squared over t squared plus one. But here we have a common denominator, so we can just put these together and get our value for cosine of x. That's just going to be one minus t squared. I'll reverse the order. I should probably just I probably just do it this way in the first place. And we'll write it as one minus t squared over one plus t squared. Next, I'm going to do almost the same kind of thing using the double angle formula again on sine. What we can do for sine of x, let's write it as sine two times x over two, it's just to show clearly what we're doing. So we have the double angle formula, and then for the double angle formula for sine, that's going to be two sine of the input x over two cosine x over two. So for our sine of x value, then we just can use this two times this first one, which is two square root of, sorry, t over t squared plus one. And then this one's gonna be this thing, one over square root t squared plus one. But multiplying all this together, what we're gonna have here is gonna be just two t over t squared plus one. But now that we have all of our formulas, we're ready to integrate, we're ready to do this substitution. So what I'm gonna do is let's just plug in. So first, we need to take pi over 2 and substitute it in here in our first substitution. That's going to be tan of pi over 4. That's going to be a 1. Then plugging in 0, tan of 0 is just 0. And then for our dx value, we found that over here. I have this 2 in the numerator. I'm actually going to take this 2 and bring it up front. And then we're going to have this, just this dt. For this t squared plus 1, I'm going to bring it out here because I'm going to want to multiply it in later. So I'm just going to write it like this for now. And then for the denominator, we end up with 1 plus our sine value, which is going to be 2t over t squared plus 1. And now we just need to distribute in this t squared plus 1 value. So rewriting, bound stay the same. So t squared plus 1 times 1, we're going to end up with t squared plus 1 here. Multiply this in here, that's going to cancel, and we just left, we're just left here with 2t. 
but this is actually factor. Well, this is a perfect square. So what we can do rewriting this, this is gonna be, this here is gonna become t plus one all squared over dt. And then in order to finish this, you could do another u substitution here if you weren't clear on what's happening here. But because the integral of this is just gonna be one, it doesn't really do much to substitute. So let's just kind of do this in our head and integrate here. So we're gonna end up with, we're gonna have this two in the numerator. Integrating this is gonna give a minus sign out front, and then we're gonna have just t plus one in the denominator, and this is evaluated from zero to one. Then evaluating this first at one, you plug a one in here, you're gonna have, this is gonna become just minus one. Minus times minus here is gonna give me a plus. Plug in zero, we end up with a two over one, or just two. Subtracting one from two, we get our final solution of just one. Okay, there you have it. Really fun problem with the virus draft substitution. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.